trade, made a good living, police protected you, and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a film like that. A film is a story written in light. We think of The Godfather as the saga of the Corleone family. But it's also a series of beautiful and arresting and memorable and meaningful images. And the man who made those images and put them together was Gordon Willis, one of the great cinematographers in American movies who died at the age of 82. This is A.O. Scott, film critic at the New York Times. Now, if you look at what he does just right at the beginning of the Godfather movies, what's already happening is a theme is being established, a visual motif, the play of dark and light, of shadow and brightness. So when we're in the young manhood of Vito Corleone on the Lower East Side and, and, and in Little Italy in Manhattan, you can feel the closeness and the crampness of the tenements. Or, you know, you go to, to Havana um, on New Year's Eve right before the revolution and you can feel both the, the kind of the bright, gaudy lights of the celebration and also that deep, humid darkness. So Gordon Willis worked with a lot of other important filmmakers in the 1970s and on, on movies that are, are still memorable. Um, the Parallax View, The Paper Chase, All the President's Men. But probably his most fruitful and, and lasting collaboration in the late 1970s through most of the 1980s was with Woody Allen. And Willis and Allen went on to collaborate on, an, on a number of films and you can really see an extraordinary range of visual style. But the real high point of their collaboration, I think, and just one of the most visually beautiful and satisfying movies um, of the second half of the 20th century is, is Manhattan, um, Woody Allen's love letter to, to his city that is just given such an amazing glow and, and such a, 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 a burnished, complicated, rich feeling by the images that Willis makes. Both the, the in interiors of, of apartments and the, the beautiful the exterior York. shots, including that just I famous, iconic I shot um, of the Queensboro Bridge. So Willis was really the last of a breed. And you, you, you know, you really, you see what film is and what it can do when you look at that those first shots in The Godfather. What you're looking at there is, is cinematography, is filmmaking um, at its very highest aesthetic level. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. <laughs> 